we are able to eat the swirl flower and golden ball uh, but uh, we are not keeping track of the score for player one and player two so the way that we're going to keep track of the score is the only way we can save information when we are dealing with computer code and that's through the use of a variable and a variable is a space in your computer where you can save a piece of data like a number or a word or a character right? you could think of it like a pocket where you can save a piece of data or a cup where you can put a piece of data in there right? and you could take it out at a later time and so how do we make a variable here in Scratch? Well, we come here to the Data tab, and we click the Make a Variable box. Right? And maybe I can come over here. And OK. Um, so I hit Make a Variable, and I say Player 1 Score. And I also make one want to make one for Player 2. So I say Player 2 Score. Okay, so I have these two variables, and the first thing that you want to do before you get started is you want to set those two variables equal to their starting value. Okay, and so you want to think about it and think well, what should the starting value of player one score and player two score be? Should it be 50, 130, 89? No, it should be zero because they both have just started the game. So I'm going to pull out two set, player one, player two scores to zero. And you can see here player one score and player two score. Right? And I'm going to uncheck this size variable. Um, and so, yeah, we could see here player one score. And I can maybe put player two score over here on this side of the screen. And um, now we want to make sure that the score goes up if the first player touches the flower. So where is the check for when the first player touches the flower? It's right here. Right? Well, we, after you start as clone, you're forever checking, check, 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 if the player one is touching the clone of the flower. And if it is, delete. But what we also want to do before we delete is we want to change the player one score by one. Okay, and then we're also going to do that here for player two. Change player two score by one if you touch the player two touches the flower. Let's see if that works. Ooh, that's not good. I don't like the way the player one score and player two score is showing when you start the game, uh, when you start the intro, right? So I'm going to use this hide variable here on the green flag, hide score two and hide score one. And then when I receive start game, I'm going to show those two scores. So I'm actually going to do that over here on the backdrops. So hide those two on the green flag and show them right here when you broadcast start game that's when the start game that's when the game starts right? and we could actually just like unhook this and use a when I receive start game just like the other sprites have right? um, and we're gonna show sprite player one score player two score let's try that And the score should show up when the game starts. There we go. Um, and so let's see if the score goes up, right? Yes, it goes up to one, then two, then three, and four, and five. Okay. When I hit the swirl ball, my score does not go up, right? And why does it not go up? Well, it's because we did not code it to go up. Right? So I'm going to leave that for you to do. And just remember, the swirl ball is rarer, so it should probably be worth more. And the golden ball is rarer than the swirl ball, so it should be worth more than the swirl ball. Okay. Um, yeah, so good luck doing that.